Today we will go over how to update your firmware with QCMA. This tutorial was made in case the preferred DNS method doesn't work. Check out that video linked now. For this, you will need a non-hacked Vita, QCMA installed on your computer, and the PUP firmware file. Supporting links are in the video's description. Do not follow these instructions if your Vita is already hacked with Enzo. Doing so will break your Vita. You should first properly uninstall Enzo as shown in the video linked now. Check your current firmware by going to Settings, then System, then System Information. Here I'm on firmware 3.61. Return to settings and click on system, then auto start settings, then untick download update file for system software. Return to the main menu and enable flight mode. On your computer, open up QCMA and take note of the updates folder. Copy the PUP file into the updates folder and rename it to psp2updat.pup. Click the other tab and change use this version for updates to custom. Change custom PS Vita version to your desired version. I will be updating to version 3.65. Return to the settings and click System Update. Connect your Vita to your computer via USB cable and click Update by connecting to a PC. You will now be given the option of your desired firmware. Click Next, Accept, Update, and wait for the system to update and reboot. Your Vita should now be updated. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wilson Minute. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and if applicable, watch the next and previous videos in this series. If you would like to help support this channel, I have listed ways to do so in the video's description. Now get out there and apply your newfound knowledge.